It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got Jimmy Garoppolo. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Raiders and the Broncos, and it's coming right up on EA Sports. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. It's all about divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season, and we've got a compelling one in store here, as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and yes, it's January 7th, but we haven't seen you since New Year's Eve, so we have to say Happy New Year, one and all. And partner, Happy New Year to you. This is it, the conclusion of the 2023 season. Hard to believe, but we got a good one here between division rivals. And you like what the NFL's done here, making Week 18 all division games. I think it's one of the more inspired moves by the league because they've made these matchups really count. And typically they mean something. Not a lot of coasting as people head towards the playoffs. But I do have to ask, January 7th, is it too late to say it? We're kind of right on the borderline, aren't we, about Happy New Year? Because that always seems to be the subject of debate. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. They'll be let out by the veteran in his 10th NFL campaign, Jimmy Garoppolo. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that doesn't put them in bad situations. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Jimmy going to look to throw it on the first play. And incomplete to open things up. And Michael Mayer, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. But you look at this Bronco defense. They were excellent last week in the win over the Chargers. They held them to just seven points, and in reviewing the game tape, I'm wondering how they got the seven. I actually wrote a note to myself. How did they even score? The way they were playing, absolutely dominating on their side of the ball. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter. But that time, they were up to the challenge. Second and 10. First carry for Josh Jacobs. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Third and 12. Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. It's Jenkins. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Here's Smith to return it. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. Bringing them out is the 12th year pro seeking a return to Pro Bowl form, Russell Wilson. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Had interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. And motion left goes a tight end. They begin the drive with Williams. 
to about the 33-yard line. Well, this defense for the Raiders, they were excellent a week ago in that victory over Indianapolis. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Second and six. Here's Wilson. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. You look at this Raiders defense. It's a unit that has had all sorts of issues against the pass. Dead last in the NFL, number 32 in the league. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays that we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And Dula to return. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. A uh, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Garoppolo now. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. Well, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here, and we'll step aside. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. A gain of three, second down. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Here we go, here From the 33, here's second down and seven. <laughs> to throw is Garoppolo. That's complete into the hands of Myers. Well, they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it. Occasionally, you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go all the way to the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. With these run-pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Well, he's able to break out a run tackle but then quickly brought down. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. 
Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have the Raiders first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas, the homestanding Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. And it's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Devontae Adams. With career touchdown number 91, he joins a group that includes Tony Dorsett and Isaac Bruce, among others. And the Raiders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. A first carry for Samaj P. Ryan. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. There's Wilson to throw. Got a man open. It's Sutton. They'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Seven and it gets him a new set of downs. The Broncos had 15 and one on the year. And they've gone a full couple of months now since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And we always talk about how a team has to play complimentary football in order to really be a good squad. But I think in this league, if your offense isn't playing really well as this one is, you're not going to run off this kind of a streak. Throwing on first down, but this one lines up to be incomplete. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else with the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. On second down, here's Wilson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with. Threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Now Wilson. That is caught. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 39. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. On second down, P. Ryan. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get 
get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. Now it's Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 23. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? It should be aware, but it's so hard sometimes. It's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's second and ten. Up the middle, here's P. Ryan. Oh, a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now again, here's P. Ryan. Bust through the tackle. And after the nice stiff arm, the next wave swarms in quickly for the stop. Second and five from the eight. Hand off here for P. Ryan. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Williams is into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Brett Maher on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Abdullah's going to stay put, and the drive will start at the 25. The Raiders have the ball back, and here comes Devontae Adams to the field again. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, you're a former DB. Is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. Especially with a touchdown. <laughs> yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. On second down, here's Garoppolo. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Ten more there and another first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit. You get the... He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. 
Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. There's Garoppolo to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going for the deep ball. And this one is incomplete. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven hour score. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. It's all down to this. Week 18 of the NFL regular season. Lots to be decided, so let's get right to it. We'll start up at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte. Tampa Bay taking on Carolina in the NFC South. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. We'll stay in the NFC North as we head over to the Motor City to check on the Lions at home in Detroit. And it's the visiting Minnesota Vikings who have the lead in that one at halftime. Jordan Addison, a touchdown catch in that first half. Lastly, let's head to Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati to see what's happening with the Bengals. And they've gone to the half in that ball game with the visiting Browns out on top. Nick Chubb has a touchdown run. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Both teams making their final adjustments before we get started once again. And for the call of the second half, let's send you back out to Allegiant Stadium and Brandon God. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to submit it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. They start on the ground with Piron. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. That's complete. It's Greg Dulcich. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Robert Spillane. And the Raiders are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. 
And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw complete here to Kamel. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Here's Garoppolo on first and ten. And his throw is incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Third quarter action here in this regular season finale. This will be second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. That is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Wilson. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. Call that a very strong gain of 24. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now it's Wilson. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Second down and eight. There's Wilson. On the slant, completes to Sutton. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 25-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They run it with P. Ryan on first down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 
52 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. And that's the big fellas MO right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Wilson. Guys, man, complete over the middle. It's Burton. And the Broncos are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. P. Ryan will take it in. Touchdown, Denver. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Bar now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Samaj P. Ryan. Following the touchdown, here's Mar to kick it away. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. That yeah, was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Play action. Garoppolo. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. The passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. That's returnable now for Smith. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now Wilson. 
Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. That gives some credit to the defender on that when he read all his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. The Broncos on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Throwing is Wilson. And that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raider offense heading out as we take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. Well, here we sit, week 17, just one more week in the regular season after this one. So if you're one of these teams trying to make a move and improve your spot or jump in from the outside, go, Charles, go. you better make that move now. And these final games are often a good barometer for all those teams fighting for position or a wild card spot. They have to be able to get the job done these last two weeks before things get even tougher when the playoffs officially begin. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. On play action, now Garoppolo. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Garoppolo. That's to the sideline and incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And take it right on the 30. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A lot of running backs, a little bit of a disadvantage when you start talking MVP. Might not be the case this year. You think he's got a shot, don't you? I do. I think he's got more than a shot. But what he's going to need here down the stretch this late in the season, he needs that big closing game, that game that we're all going to reflect on and go, oh, my goodness, did he put up a number? Let's say 200-plus. They'll try the right side with P. Ryan. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pickup, first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. 61 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They'll run again with Piran. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. They'll hand it to Piran. And able to break one, 
tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That one, a first down pickup of eight. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Second and six with the ball on the seventh. Now they'll throw it with Wilson toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Boy, the numbers throwing the football just not trending in the right direction. Last week he was under 50%. He's under 50% again here. And we haven't gotten an announcement, but it appears to me that he might be a little dinged up, but he's just trying to play through. You know, he's one of those tough guys that wants to answer the bell each and every play for his team. That might be throwing off his accuracy. Forced out. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Russell Wilson taking it in from seven yards away. And the Broncos have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out, just a few snaps remaining, they can't relax just yet. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And it's now 21-7. to That time, a nine-play drive. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Abdul is going to stay put, and the drive will start at the 25. So Garoppolo and the Raiders now. Down by two touchdowns, a minute 52 to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Here we go. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. They'll try again here, second and ten. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. And I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. Denver's offense now set to go. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. 
And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. You know, when this offense gets down here near the end zone, they're going to turn to their bell cow. And this guy's been a touchdown machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there on first down. A carry for the fullback. This is Mike Burton. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Fourth quarter holding on to a lead. Fullback carry three or four yards. I guess that's what you're looking for. And it just brings back memories for me because I remember my coaches in this situation. I remember one time my head coach into his headset telling the offensive coordinator, I want the big boy carrying the ball. And that's what you have. Yeah, this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Broncos have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Mar on for the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. A drive that time of six plays. And Cortland Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, here's Mar to kick it away. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Raiders offense ready to go. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. One final try now for Garoppolo. And he's going to go down again. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And yeah, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked at the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence.